I'm Richard Southern in the 680 News Business Center. It's been a big trend in the restaurant business here in Canada and indeed in the United States as well. Chains ditching plastic straws in favor of paper ones and doing away in some cases as well with plastic bags as they uh, look to be more environmentally friendly. And now McDonald's is in the crosshairs over the plastic toys found in Happy Meals. A British petition is calling on Mickey D's to scrap those plastic toys included in the kids' meals. This petition has garnered over 325,000 signatures. Those toys in Happy Meals typically can't be recycled because they're made of multiple different kinds of plastic or made with plastic mixed with other materials. Parents say they often end up in the garbage. In the UK, McDonald's announced last month that it would start to test some alternatives, announcing that it would swap out two hard plastic toys for books for a six to eight week period. Uh, we had Burger King as well weighing in on this issue. Burger King too offers kids plastic toys and they said they're also looking at alternatives. But you know, when you get a, a nice meal or a drink out, what is one of the first things you do, especially if you're of a certain age group? You pull out your phone and take a picture, but of course, and companies are cluing into this. They want to have their products Insta-worthy and maybe the best of doing this has been Starbucks and Starbucks coming out now with another Insta-friendly drink. Here it is. It is the tie-dye Frappuccino. It's going to hit menu boards at Starbucks on Wednesday. It'll be available for five days or while supplies last. And uh, with its super limited availability, the tie-dye Frappuccino Starbucks hopes will follow in the successful footsteps of other over-the-top colorful Starbucks creations like the uniform Frappuccino. By the way, this is said to taste something like a banana Laffy Taffy. Typically, there's a lot of uh, sugar and sometimes fat in those uh, frappuccinos, something to keep an eye on. Finally, we had some big news out of the cannabis sector today. Cantrust Holdings, one of the bigger companies in that space, said Health Canada came a knocking at its big growth facility in Pelham, Ontario. And Health Canada apparently found several rooms that were not licensed, and therefore they put a freeze on a lot of the company's cannabis. As a result, Cantrust stock fell as much as 20%, worst day for the company in its uh, history as a public entity. Some of the cannabis growing in these facilities had been shipped across the country. Cantrust says uh, it plans to get in contact with the individual regulators in, and talk to them about that. Cannabis stocks on a whole were lower today. The markets were in the red. The Canadian dollar continues to trade close to its highest of the year, above 76 cents U.S., and we're not expecting any change for gasoline prices tonight. In the 680 Newsroom, Richard Southern, City News.